Air Force veteran, teacher, attorney, legislator, public servant. All positions held by Marvin York during his lifetime and all interwoven with a common thread of respect and championing for quality public education. As a 1950 graduate of Claremore High School, Marvin York first served his country as a member of the United States Air Force prior to resuming his studies and earning a degree in education from Northeastern State University. Soon after, he began teaching high school first at Wichita East before moving to U.S. Grant in Oklahoma City. While teaching English at Grant, Marvin pursued a law degree and successfully earned his Juris Doctorate from Oklahoma City University's College of Law in 1963. He practiced general law as a partner in the firm of Blevins & York for the next 20 years, during which time he was elected to first the Oklahoma House of Representatives in 1968, where he served as Assistant House Majority Leader and Chairman of the House Judiciary Committee then the Oklahoma Senate in 1974, where he served until 1986, representing the citizens of South Oklahoma City. Senator York ascended to President Pro Tempore of the Senate, the first Oklahoma City area senator to ever hold that position, which he held from 1981 to 1984. Upon leaving the legislature in 1986, he resumed his career as a full-time attorney and lobbyist. During his time as an elected official at the state capitol, Mr. York was known for his aggressive support of tax reform, transportation projects, paramutual racing, open meetings, and education funding. In fact, he states that one of the main reasons he first sought public office was to try to improve teacher salaries. He frequently battled foes over ways to generate revenues to aid public schools and higher education in the state. Mr. York's efforts played a key role in the birth of South Oklahoma City Junior College, the original name of Oklahoma City Community College. The college's first president, Don Newport, once stated, the college has no greater friend than Marvin York. State Representative Dale Patrick also said repeatedly, the political patron saint of this institution is Marvin York. At the groundbreaking ceremony, York himself declared the college the crown jewel of South Oklahoma City. Well, I'm proud of the fact that I was able to uh, have some influence on the decision makers at that time in this, in this area, the members of the Chamber of Commerce, basically, to uh, sell them on the notion of having a college here. That was the thing that I'm probably the most proud of. The second thing that I'm very proud of was the fact that when I became the president pro tempore of the Senate some years later, I was in a position to be able to have some influence on where the capital improvement monies were going to be spent and as a result of being in a position to do so, I was able to make a lot of people agree that we needed to have a quite a few dollars appropriated for the construction of a lot of the buildings that uh, were built back in the, the early 80s. That, uh, and I was able to do that and I was happy to do that and was lucky to be in a position to be able to do that and so I'm, I'm proud of those two things. What I'm proudest of now though is what exists here today. I'm amazed by it. When I walk through this building, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I mean, this was an old 143-acre pasture that was so terrible that it wouldn't even grow sharp cuckleburrs. And what is here now is just amazing to me. All these gorgeous buildings and the ones that are in the progress of coming up, it's just, it's just mind-boggling. And I'm, I'm, I'm just totally excited about it and proud of it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Honorary 2012 Alumni Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Marvin York.